What exactly is a centroid? Well, a centroid is the point of concurrency where the three medians in a triangle coincide or intersect. So what's a median? Well, a median goes from the vertex to the middle of the opposite side. So you can see here AE, see how I've marked these two segments as being the same, they're congruent because it's uh, the midpoint. And then also look over here BD, that's bisecting AC, so these two are congruent. And then you can see CF is going from the vertex to the middle of you know, that opposite side, so BF is congruent to FA. But what's interesting about this centroid is that you know, each median is split into two parts, one-third and two-thirds. So what I mean by that is you can see this whole length here, BD, RD would be one-third of the median length, BR would be two-thirds of that whole median length. And the other thing you want to kind of pay attention to is that, see, because RD is one-third of the median and BR is two-thirds, if you know RD, you can double that to find BR, or if you know BR, you can multiply by that one by one half to find RD. So let's go through some examples and you'll see how this works. The other thing that I want to mention to, uh, to you real quick is, is that sometimes students are wondering, you know, if it's not obvious from the picture, which distance is the one-third distance and which is the two-thirds distance, right? Well, when you're measuring from the vertex, okay, so the corner of the triangle from the vertex to the centroid, that's going to be the two-thirds part. The part from the opposite side to the centroid, that's going to be the one-third part. So here you can see CR is two-thirds, AR is going to be the two-thirds. So from the vertex to the centroid, that's the longer piece, the two-thirds. Okay, so BD is equal to 27. So that's this whole length here. We want to find out what the length of BR is and RD. I usually find the smaller one first because one-third is easy to work with. You just divide by three. You take 27 and divide by three, that's going to be nine. Okay, so right here, nine. And then BR is going to be two-thirds of 27, or you can just double uh, one-third to get the two-thirds, and that's going to be 18. And you can see these two add up to the to the whole length. Okay, how about FR? So FR, they tell us this length is five. So that means we automatically know that CR is going to be double. That's going to be 10. And then of course, FC is the whole length. We can add the two pieces together to get 15. Okay, now AR is eight. So let's look at this one. So AR is eight. That's the two-thirds portion of the median. So that means if we divide that in half, RE is going to be four. And if we add these together uh, to find AE, that's going to be 12.